very frequently I would ask on my tours, uh, is anybody here a straight up skeptic? That they don't believe in the paranormal, they don't believe in ghosts at all. And, uh, and definitely, there would usually be one or two on the tour, and I would always try do my best to make them feel welcome and say, good, it's always good to have somebody here to keep us balanced, to make sure that when, uh, when somebody jumps during an investigation, they can say, dudes, it's windy outside, or it's cold and the house is creaking, it's not a ghost. You gotta have that balance. So I would always kind of go out of my way to try to make the more skeptical people that got dragged on the tour feel like, okay, well, at least this isn't some like bizarre indoctrination uh, <laughs> ceremony where we have to believe in ghost stories to have a good time. So um, on this one particular uh, tour, somebody was just, had all the, all the bad body language, uh, arms crossed, very much uh, scowling, more, more aggressive than you would ever want to have in your audience. And uh, because it was a private tour, I could take people wherever the birthday girl wanted to go. And American Horror Story had just come out. I knew where the house was. And I blew her mind by going into that neighborhood and letting everybody go out and take pictures of the house from American Horror Story, season one. And um, one of the people that did not get off the van, out of the van, when I stopped was this super skeptical person. Um, I guess skeptical about having a good time at all, right? I should stop cutting them down so much as I'm trying to bridge gaps here. Um, but she asked me, so, what do you think are what do you think about orbs? Which seems like the biggest gotcha set a trap for you question uh, coming from a skeptic, because ghosts can sometimes present themselves on camera, in film, in video, uh, or stills as these little you know glowing, floating orbs, these spheres. Uh, however, dust appears that way. Sometimes bugs do. Even high humidity, smoke, all sorts of things can cause these false positives. So to me, I said, um, in addition to talking about that, I said, a photo with an orb in it to me is meaningless unless there's something that goes along with it. Let's say an EMF detector spiked at that same time. Or I told the story about how my mom and cousin, I brought them down because I'm crazy like this. I brought them down to Bachelor's Grove Cemetery uh, back when I was doing my documentary in 1999. And I just told a group of people to fan out, walk around the grounds, enjoy yourselves. And if you think you feel anything, if you think you're experiencing anything, just let me know. And my mom and my cousin thought they felt a cold spot on this beautiful summer day. And so they decided to come back and tell me about it. And by the luckiest coincidence ever, I had a photographer with me that took a picture of them as they're on their way back to talk to me. And floating behind them is a huge orb. Now, in and of itself, I wouldn't have thought much of it, except that they thought they felt a cold spot right where that orb appears in the photo. Like that to me is a great example of an orb that is paranormal. And, um, and so I, I this is how I presented the idea that orbs in and of themselves, I think you can't call that evidence, but if there's something else that backs it up, now maybe we're talking. And the I had one negative review in the history of my tour, and it was this one person, because I didn't give enough credibility to orbs. What? The skeptic believed in orbs? The, of all the things for the skeptic to actually believe in, they believe in orbs? And, I, and so I think for me, the lesson to take away for one, I said everything I, I wanted to say, so I was very true to my message. However, knowing I was talking to a skeptic, uh, an aggressive one, I should say, I felt I, maybe I was a little too guarded with my language. I didn't speak with enough conviction, um, and she saw that as a weakness. And then the last thing to take away from this for me was, like, you don't really know what, where somebody's coming from. This person may be skeptical but wants to believe to some degree because this person somehow believed in the, the, the last thing that I would have believed in when it comes to the paranormal.